A numerically controlled plasma cutting machine is used to profile burn the flat plate at this first stage of the manufacturing process. The flat plate is then rolled to the required diameter under hydraulic pressure. Welding of longitudinal seams is carried out by submerged arc welding. Manufacturing procedures and quality control standards are continuously monitored by the Cochrane Inspection Department and by an independent inspectorate. X-ray technology is used to inspect critical welds. Here the tube plates are machined by a computer controlled vertical milling machine for precise tube hole alignment. Hand welding is carried out by appropriately coded welders. All welds subject to pressure are inspected by non-destructive testing by Cochrane inspection personnel. A bowling hoop type furnace barrel is used and can be seen here being welded to the combustion chamber. The furnace, combustion chamber and front tube plate are fitted to the boiler shell. Plain smoke tubes and stay tubes are fitted between tube plates and are either expanded or expanded and welded. On completion of tubing, the boiler shell is subjected to a hydraulic test and inspection by the independent inspectorate. The Cochrane boiler is a package unit covering a range of evaporations and is of the three-pass wetback design. The first pass is the furnace and the second and third passes are nests of small bore smoke tubes. Welded construction is used throughout and designs are to the latest revision of British standard BS 2790. The boiler is suitable for oil or gas firing and can be fitted with oil, gas or dual fuel burner. Smoke box doors are fitted to the front and back to facilitate inspection and cleaning. A door is also fitted at the back to allow access to the reversal chamber and furnace. Steam is exported to the plant via the stop valve. A safety valve is fitted to the boiler to relieve excess pressure. Water level controls are fitted to the boiler and can be mounted externally in chambers or fitted directly to the shell. 
Water is supplied by a feed water pump and can be of the continuously running or on-off type, dependent on boiler evaporation. A TDS control system can be fitted to control the level of solids. A blowdown valve is used to empty the boiler and remove the build-up of unwanted solids from the bottom. The water gauge assembly allows a visual check of the water level. The pressure gauge indicates the actual pressure in the boiler. All external electrical components are pre-wired to a side-mounted control panel. Cochrane, the boiler makers, providing a quality product since 1898.